welcome to bonus segment number nine, number nine, number nine, in which we'll be playing Jeopardy for the PlayStation. Win that money. Let's win a lot of money, shall we? I know last time we played this game, we were getting close to the end of the Double Jeopardy round, and I gave an incorrect response, and at that point, it was when we heard Alex Trebek say, that is incorrect. Will he say it again here? I don't know. Let's find out. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Okay. One human and two computer players. Yeah. Player one, what's your name? Here we go. All set. Time for the Jeffy for PlayStation. Here we go. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeffy. Welcome to Jeopardy. Have fun and good luck to all of you. Thank you. I'm ready. Okay, Tiger. All right, here we go. Let's play. Let's see what our first round categories are. I'm ready. TV sitcoms. People in history. World Geography, Magazines, Food Facts, Women's Firsts, Player One, let's get started. Uh, Food Facts 100. The traditional sauce served with roast lamb contains confectioner sugar, vinegar, and these leaves. What are mint leaves? Player One. That's right. Food facts for 200. All right, pick again. A Genoise is a light sponge cake whose name is derived from this city. What is Genoa? One. Yes, indeed. I'll take uh, food facts for 200. Right, again. Fanny Farmer's recipe for beef a la Lindstrom calls for two of these, boiled and mashed. Or potatoes. Player one. That's correct. Let's take food back to 400. Young in the sock, or John in the bag, is a dessert from this African country. What is South Africa? One. That's correct. Food Facts 500. All right, pick again. This variety meat, the lining of a ruminant stomach, is usually sold blanched and parboiled. I'll, I'll go ahead and buzz in, I'll say it. What is tripe? That's it, exactly. Booyah! All right, pick it up. the category. Magazines for 100, please. A 1927 issue of this magazine featured the first undersea photographs in natural color. What is National Geographic? Right.
right you are. All right, pick I'll again. take uh, magazines for 200, please. In 1994, Dell Magazine launched a Western magazine named for this author. Who is Louis L'Amour? Oh, Louis Leakey, Louis L'Amour. Correct. Magazine 300. Regular features of this magazine include Star Treks, Chatter, and Picks and Pans. What is people? One. Boom. Correct. Magazines for 400. Pick again. The first Polish edition of this pocket-sized monthly magazine went on sale in May 1995. I will say what's Reader's Digest. Oops. Careful. That's it, exactly. And magazines are 500. All right, pick again. Before Condé Nast revived it in 1983, this arts and culture magazine was defunct for nearly 50 years. What is Vanity Fair? Could I be on my way to a perfect Jeopardy round? I don't know. Let's find out. Nope, Vanity Fair. That's it, exactly. Yes. All right, I'll take people in history for 100. In 1959, George Vanier became the first Roman Catholic Governor General of this North American country. What's Canada? That's it. Okay. All right. I'll take people in history for 200, please. Che Guevara once served as president of the National Bank of this country. Player one? Uh, che Guevara once served as president of the National Bank of this country. Um, don't think it's Panama. Not Nicaragua. I will just say, what is the Dominican Republic? That is in My butt! Player two? Is it Cuba? That's correct. Oh, it's in the right part of the world, but All just right, in the wrong exactly. country. Okay. TV sitcom 100. This series with Tim Daly and Stephen Weber was set at Tom Never's Field. What is Wings? Okay, it was Cuba. Ugh. Well, we need the S. Right to all. There we go. Okay, contestant one. I will take a TV sitcom for 200, please. For eight years, this comedian played Dick Loudon, owner of the Stratford Inn. Uh, who is Bob Newhart? Why, yes. TV sitcom 300. All right, pick again. This Tim Allen sitcom finished the 1993-94 season as television's number one show. What is Home Improvement? Player one. Why, yes. TV sitcom 400. All right, pick again. Lisa Kudrow plays twin sisters, one on Mad About You, one on this series. What is Friends? Player one. You are correct. And TV sitcoms are popular. All right, pick again. On Seinfeld, it was revealed that this is Kramer's first name. What's Cosmo? Player one. That's it, exactly. We'll try people in history for 300. All right, pick again. On June 6, 1523, Gustav I was elected king of this country at the Diet of Strongness. Player one? What is Sweden? That's right. People let us read 400. All right, pick again. This MP, a scientist and architect, was entombed in St. Paul's Cathedral in oh. 1723. I don't remember. 
Sir Christopher Wren, I think that's right. Right you are. All right. Player three, it's your turn. Now everybody's got some money. Women's first 100. In 1900, Margaret Abbott wasn't teed off when she became the first woman to win Olympic gold in this sport. What's golf? Player one. That's correct. Women's first 200. Your choice, player one. By dog sled in 1986, Anne Bancroft became the first woman to arrive here with no outside help. My dog sled? Um, I'll just say what's the North, North, North Park, North Pole. You are correct. Yep. All right, pick it up. Uh, women's first 300, please. Ann Shaw Carter, the first woman rated to pilot this type of craft, is a member of the Whirly Girl. What is a helicopter? No. Nope. Right you are. We'll go with the uh, women's first 400, please. Okay, pick again. In 1976, this former child star became the first woman named Chief of Protocol for a U.S. President. Who is Shirley Temple? Oh, That's correct. When it's first 500. All right, thank you. This first woman to head the Motion Picture Academy won Oscars for Dangerous and Jezebel out of 10 nominations. Who is Betty Davis? Exactly. All right. We'll take people in history for 500. This author of the Battle Hymn of the Republic was the first woman in the American Academy of Arts and Letters. Oh, who wrote Battle Hymn of the Republic? Julia Ward Howe, yeah. That's correct. So we know the Daily Double's in the category of World Geography. The question is, where? Is it in the $100 clue? The it is not. Of this river covers almost 40% of South America. What's the Amazon? Layer one. That's it. 200. What'll it be, player one? This sovereign state was named for the Roman hill on which it is located. Player three. Vatican City, yeah. To be sure. I wanted to say that, but it wasn't All sure right, enough. Three. All right, one out of three shot fighting the daily level, 300. And so you got it. Player three. 800, here's the clue. Get it wrong. Get it wrong. The Bay of Haifa is located in this country. Player three. It is not Greece. No. It's Israel. Here is the So that's going to cost you $800. All right, pick again. And I got my pen. Duforspitsa, part of Maharosa, is this alpine country's only peak above 15,000 feet. Player one. I'm going to say what is Switzerland. No. You are correct. Is it Switzerland? Yep. And to finish the board. It is. Munich is the capital of this largest German state. Oh, oh. Player three. Bavaria, yeah. Why, yes. All right, that's the end. Right now, Andy Eaton is only getting one thousand dollars. I have sixty-seven hundred. Player three, eight hundred. Player two, two hundred. So player two goes first. Oh well, that's okay. Great start. Let's play double jeopardy. Let's move on to double jeopardy. All right, let's. Here we go. And now the categories for the Double Jeopardy round. I'm ready. The movies. The 1820s. Old stuff. USA. Gems. Art. Okay. Player two, you go first. Where to, player two? USA for 200. All right. 
At least 120 of these hot water spouts in Yellowstone National Park have names, including Giant and Clepsydra. What are the geysers? That's it. I'll take uh, USA Four. Train, player one. North and south sections of I-95 join at the eight-lane Fort McHenry Tunnel in this city. Player one. Fort McHenry, I'll say what's Baltimore. No. Yes. You're building up a big lead. All right. All right pick again. 600 plays, uh, USA. The Atchafalaya floodway and the Bonnet Carey spillway help control flooding in this southern state. All right, I have it between two of them, but I will go ahead and uh, give my answer of what is Louisiana. That's right. Yep. All right, pick again. USA 300. The easternmost point of this state's outer banks is on Cape Hatteras National Sea. What is North Everyone? Carolina? I better get this right. Otherwise, no. That's correct. USA 1000. All right, pick again. Meaning foot of the mountain, it's the name of the area between the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Atlantic Ocean. What is the Piedmont? Player one. Correct. They took it, yep. Part for 200. All right, pick again. The Mona Lisa was one of the few paintings he finished during his second residence in Florence. Who is Leonardo da Vinci? Right you are. Art for 400, please. All right, pick again. Almost like $10,000. Botticelli featured Richard members of this prominent family in his Adoration of the Magi. Player one? I will say we're the Medici. Oh, hang on. That's it, exactly. Uh-huh. All right, pick again. Art for 600. Sadly, when this Belgian surrealist was a teenager, his mother drowned herself. Player three. Oh, too late, Rene Magritte, I knew it. Yes, indeed. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, player three. Not worry, not worry. Uh, the 1820s for 200. In 1825, John Nash turned a London house into this palace and current royal residence. What's Buckingham Palace? Player one. Yes, indeed. The empty choice for 400. All right, player one. Over $10,000 right now. When Hans Christian Orsted announced he had isolated this metal, people may have told him to can it. What's aluminum? Player one. To be sure. All right. 2600. In 1829, Romania broke away from this empire. Uh, what's the other one? You are correct. All right, pick again. 1820, After voting to separate from Massachusetts, it became a state in 1820 under the Missouri Compromise. What is Maine? Player one. Right you are. Uh-huh. All right, pick again. Antonio Jose de Sucre became the first president of this new country in 1826. What is Bolivia? Player one. Yes. Uh, let's have art for a thousand. Art for 800, I mean, excuse me. You can see his Mahas on a balcony at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Player three. Is it Francisco de Goya? Yes, indeed. Your choice, How about the movies for 200? In 1995, Bruce Willis returned to the screen with a vengeance. 
in the second sequel to this film. What is Die Hard? Anyone? Yes. Uh, the movie's recorded. Your turn. Mad Max 2 with Mel Gibson was released in the U.S. under this title. What is the road warrior? Right you are. Movies for 600. All right, pick again. Sidney Poitier helps a group of nuns build a chapel in this 1963 film that won him an Oscar. What is Lilith in the field? Everyone? Yes! Uh, movies for 800? All right, pick again. Answer? Yeah! My chance. One. I'm gonna get it together. Don Amici and Wilbur Brimley were among the senior citizens rejuvenated in this 1985 film. What is Cocoon? Player one. Why, yes. The movies for thousands. John Boyd won an Oscar for his role as a paraplegic war vet in this 1978 film. What is coming home? Player one. That's it. Art for thousands. Right, again. In 1983, he skirted 11 islands in Biscayne Bay with sheets of pink plastic. Not sure about this one. Player three. Andy Warhol? I don't think so. Good guess, but no. no. A thousand dollars for whammy ink. Here is Christo Javachev. All right. All right, pick again. Uh, let's have Jeff for two hundred. Sapphires come in many colors, but the finest ones are this color. Player one. Oh, uh, what is blue? Wait. Exactly. Yep. All right, pick again. Uh, let's have gems for 400. This country's diamond rush began after some boar children found a 21 karat stone in 1866. What is South Africa? Exactly. Uh huh. All right, pick again. Uh, let's have gems for 600, please. Auguste Bernoulli developed the flame fusion process of creating these red gems artificially. Uh, what are rubies? Player one. Exactly. Okay. 800. All right, pick again. This sea-colored gem, a birthstone from March, should be cleaned often to retain its sparkle. Sea-colored gem? Okay, I have it between two of them. Sea color. I will say what is turquoise. No, not turquoise. No, okay. Sea-colored gem. Um... What is aquamarine? Right you are. Yep. All right, make it get the most valuable non-cultured ones of these come from the Persian Gulf. What are pearls? Player one. That's it. Uh, old stuff for 200. All right, pick again. This language is also known as Anglo-Saxon. What is Old English? Oh, no. That's correct. 400. All right, pick again. In 1870, it was named by the Washburn Langford Doan Expedition, who noticed its regular eruptions. 
Player three. Old Faithful. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It's your turn, player three. Yeah, 600. Yes. Yeah, the video daily double. Your chance. Player three. Two daily double. All right. Good luck again. Commissioned in 1797, it was declared unseaworthy in 1830. Take a look at your monitor. Let's see if you know the answer to this. Player three. You're going with old Ironsides. Exactly. Yep. Old right, stuff, 800. Jato is among the earliest of the group of artists collectively known as these. Player two? The old masters, yeah. Exactly. And to finish the board. This period spanned five centuries and the rule of the third through the sixth dynasties of Egypt. Player two? The old kingdom? That's right. Yep. All right, that brings us to the end of the double Jeopardy round. So I'm out front Let's with 33,200, player 3 is 3,200, player 2 is 2,000, so I have a $30,000 lead over player 3. And yes, we did get to hear those words of, that is incorrect, in the Jeopardy round. Looks like we're going to have a fight for second place. Yep. Here's the category for Final Jeopardy. Awards. That's a lock game, so I'm gonna go 16,800. I can't be caught either way. Player three, we have your wager, please. Player one, please make your wager. Here's the Final Jeopardy answer. In 1993, this North American country reinstated the Victoria Cross as a size military honor. I'll say what's Canada. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks, Johnny. I'm pretty sure it's Canada. Player two, let's take a look at your question. Lost my pen. Oh. Not sorry. Mexico. That's incorrect. How much did it cost you? It's going to cost you all $2,000. Uh, you'll get them next time. Ah, uh, no you won't. Your question, player three. Oh, sorry, nope. that's incorrect. Let's see how much it costs you. All 3,200, so you end up with nothing this game. Player one, your question? That's right. All right. And your wager was. So I went $50,000 this segment. That puts you in the lead. And we will go ahead and wrap it up for this bonus segment, and I'm going to see you all for that next one. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Congratulations, Player One. You're the Jeopardy champion. Thank you all so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now.